Hello there, how are you? Come on in. Now look, I hope you survived the Christmas okay. And if you didn't, that's all right. Uh, many of us didn't. Uh, personally speaking, to my great surprise, I had a nice time. Um, but lots and lots of people didn't. And if yours went sideways, uh, you are not alone. Now, <clears throat> I'm here to talk to you about New Year's Eve. And New Year's Eve is bag of shite, basically. Like, that's the long and the short of it. It is utterly meaningless. Um, I understand this human urge or, or longing that we have to kind of to start afresh or to kind of think we could put a particular spell of unpleasantness behind us and start afresh with with kind of a, a clean slate and, and you know endless possibilities that are all positive but um, none of that is true. Um, New Year's Eve is just a what even night is it this week is a Tuesday night like it, it means feck all and I'm very lucky in that like I don't drink alcohol so like I don't put myself under any pressure to go out on New Year's Eve but even when I was drinking I don't think I've ever had a pleasant one um everything has always gone wrong and I have ended up I don't know waiting for a taxi in the sleet having lost a shoe um with nowhere to go and and no money and and my New Year's Eves have always been terrible and um and I think partly because expectations are so high. You know, people kind of act like it's the most wonderful night of the year. Like, why would it be? Um, and if you don't want to go out on Tuesday night, don't. Like, just don't. Like, I wouldn't even lie about it. I mean, for an alcoholic like me in recovery, we call New Year's Eve amateur's night. Um, you know, and if you don't want to be doing that, don't. I think it's quite normal to say. I don't, I, I hate it. It makes me miserable because there is something, even though it's an entirely artificial cut off point and restart, it always used to make me feel like, it always kind of started introspection and I'd be thinking, I'm a failure. You know, my life is awful. I have achieved nothing and I have no hope that in the new year I'll achieve anything different. And I'm not that person anymore. But I still don't like that feeling of looking back or examining myself because being human beings, we're always going to find the bad bits, um, which I do so well. Um, but coming to resolutions, I think this, you know, the idea of resolutions after the, 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 the free the free for all bacchanalian debauch of like the Christmas and the post Christmas and you know eating trifle for breakfast and and you know soothing yourself to sleep by eating a box of um, you know a selection box you know it's really attractive to think all I want to do is drink spring water and eat carrot sticks for the rest of my life you know I do understand that thing of starting the new year and wanting to to clean yourself or, you know to use that ridiculous word detox um, but I think people, we expect too much of ourselves. People decide eight different things that they're going to change about themselves in the new year. You know, they are going to stop eating anything. And they are going to exercise for nine hours a day. They are going to stop smoking everything, even though they're not really a smoker in the first place. They are not buying anything ever again, forever, for the rest of their lives. They are going to learn Russian right now, all of it. Uh, in a week um, and then they're going to give up their job and they are going to fly to Sri Lanka and do good and do you know like uh, like people get carried away I suppose and if you really 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 want to change something in your life pick one thing that would be my advice to you um, like Nearly 26 years ago, I stopped drinking. Now, it wasn't kind of my decision to do it at the time, but I'm very feckin' glad I did, you know? Um, I, the whole, the, the thing that bothers me most about kind of New Year's resolutions is it's all about weight and size and body image. I, people are obsessed with it, and I'm obsessed with it. And, you know, I've always been obsessed with it, and I continue to be obsessed with it, and it causes me so much pain. Like It's like being in a civil war with myself, um, and I'm always trying to eat less. 
and I'm always feeling guilty about not exercising. And I sort of wonder, you know, like nobody gets through life without a cross to bear. Like everybody goes through life with a stone, at least one stone in their shoe. And I'm just wondering if like, if that's my second stone, do you know? If that's just something that I'm going to be in a push me, pull you relationship with forever. Because I try all the time. I'm always trying and then always lapsing and then always hating myself, then trying afresh. Like my entire life is like Christmas Eve to the first week of January on a loop. You know, the overindulgence, the, the complete denial, the mad lapsing again, the complete denial, you know, and I wish things were different. However, I am a decent person and I am a good person and I am well-intentioned. I am a kind person and I make people laugh and it shouldn't matter that my stomach is the size of Belgium. You know, like Belgium is a small country, but it's actually quite big if it's your stomach. Um, and I'm, maybe this is my journey to make my peace with this bullshit concern when there's so much terrible stuff going on in the world. Um, maybe it is, and I don't want to be all performative about something, but there's a general election coming in Ireland in probably the middle of April. And I am in so much pain about our our homelessness situation and our housing crisis. And I was thinking, I need to talk to somebody clever, like some sort of economist, to understand why, why it doesn't work. I mean, I'm, I suspect it's all just down to kind of greed by those who have the power and, you know, facilitating that. But I'd like to understand. I'd like to do that for myself. And I wonder if I will, you know, because I'm always full of lofty ideas, do you know? And uh, sometimes I act in them and most times I don't. But that, if I was to make a New Year's resolution, instead of trying to, to reduce my stomach to the size of Bruges, say, that'd be a better thing to do. Like, that'd be a good thing to do. That'd be meaningful and worthwhile and might help others. Anyway, all I'm saying is, go easy on yourselves. Um, if you cannot bear one thing. If one thing in your life is just making you hugely unhappy, then then decide that you're you're going to address it, and don't over. What's the word? Don't be over ambitious. Make a plan, and build in breaks and build in rewards. I mean, like every time I give up the sugar, I feel like. Um, you know, the little match girl when all the matches go out. I just feel like all the glitter has gone from life, all the joy, all the happiness, all the sparkle, and that it's just grimy, cold grimness. That's how I feel. And that's, that's hard to kind of power through. So, you know, I, I've decided if I do do that, that like to try and make, kind of distract myself with other nice things, like look over here, let's watch, the team, my new favourite telly thing, or, you know, some kind of a Danishy, Swedishy, Scandinavian show. Let's not think about the matches all being blown out. Let's think about other different nice things that aren't food but are still nice. Um, yeah, you see, we get one precious life, one short precious life. And I'm saying this for myself really more than you, but you know, how I spend it is up to me and I suppose I'd like to understand about the housing situation. I would also like to be a size six, you know. I have more chance of understanding and learning about the housing situation. I should really focus on doing that. But anyway, resolutions, pick one thing, one thing only and expect to get really depressed. There's some day, isn't that they, they predict that everybody breaks their news, New Year's resolutions. If you really want to make that one change in your life, put things in to help you. And as you're approaching the day where everybody goes, ah, fuck it, right, I'm, 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 I'm give us a Mars bar and a bottle of wine and, and, I'm, 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 and I'm going back online and I'm buying loads of things. You know, when that day comes, you can be ready and get past it, maybe. Anyway, go easy on yourselves. We are far too hard on it. Far 
too hard on ourselves with the perfectionism. Um, I won't wish you a happy new year because no such thing exists. I will wish you a happy today and a happy day after that and a happy day after that and it is, doesn't matter what month it is or what year it is. Um, I hope that you will be happy um, and uh, I won't be wishing Happy New Year to anyone because there's no such thing. Nothing is going to magically change at a minute past 12 on uh, the 1st of whatever it is, January 2020. It's bullshit. It's a load of shite. Um, just carry on. Carry on. Being nice to yourself, having maybe made that one decision and that's all you need to do. Adios. You are lovely. Thank you for all your kindness to me through the years and through that year, even though the year is actually meaningless, as I just said. And um, I hope that you get to do something to make yourself feel better about yourself.